Hey, it's Kiko Stego here. This is a Danganronpa character retrospective. So this is your spoiler warning. Enjoy the video. I won't. I believe in simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. So that's Koyataka, according to what I saw about him on the thread. He went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honor student. He also known for his work he's done with his community public morals committee. They say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of ultimate moral compass. Anyway, you can call me Taka. You said your name was Makoto Naegi, right? It's a good name. Strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. And to keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. <laughs> Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it, right? Right? This guy is kind of annoying. <laughs> if you're interested in Koyotaka's free time skills, you have a tentative influence, increases your maximum influence by two effective during class trials, and steel patience, reduces damage to the influence gauge when you miss. If you would like to woo Koyotaka, his loves are Mac Gloves, Red Scarf, Adorable Reactions Collection, <laughs> and Chin Drill. Why is he like Chin Drill? His likes are Overflowing Lunchbox, Hope's Peak Ring, G Stick, Leaf Covering, Quality Chinchilla Cover, Cherry Blossom Bouquet, Berserker Armor, Millennium Prize Problems, and The Fun Plane. I like the Max Gloves because it's like an Easter egg. Koyotaka <clears throat> reacts when given different tiers of presents. His love reacts are... Wow! Very impressive! I should thank you for this! So... Thanks. <laughs> are you sure I can have such a splendid gift? Thank you so very much, Makoto! His like reacts are... Wow! This is how far you're willing to go to try to become friends with me? <laughs> how nice of you! This isn't just a bribe or anything. Right? It's just a gift from a friend? Yeah, totally. Thanks, Makoto! His okay reacts are... Hmm, maybe I was wrong about you, Makoto. Let's continue to deeper our relationship, <laughs> shall we? His dislike reacts are... Don't you think you can buy my friendship through bribery? His hate reacts are... Why would you give me something like this? Is this some kind of joke? So that's all you think of me, is it? <laughs> His reacts are great. My boy. It really just sounds, it sounds like Guy Sensei, dude. Okay, on to the free time events. Bear with me. <laughs> Let's bear each other. Bear, brother. Hmm. Hey, Makoto, as long as we're talking, it, let's really talk. What do you say? Huh? Oh, sure, that's fine. Excellent. You hear me? Then, let's get down to brass tacks and find out where we stand on all the big issues. So, what should we discuss? Politics, the economy, international affairs? Wait, hold on. Instead of big, serious discussion... Can we just have a normal conversation? That's the best way to learn about people, I think. What do you mean by a uh, normal conversation? <laughs> um, well, for example, what do you like to do in your spare time? Listen to me! Study, of course. I'm a student, aren't I? A student must be a studying professional. Any course of my duties is their chairperson of the moral committee to keep me quite busy as well. It's my duty to foster an environment in which we can all focus on our studies. Okay, but what else? Like when you're at home or you just have some time to kill? 
I have time to kill, I study. <laughs> I see. <laughs> this is fun. Okay, my turn. Makoto, what do you like to do in your spare time? Um, you know, just normal stuff. Watch TV, play video games. Uh, and this helps you study how? N no, it's not about studying. It's just for fun, you know? But doing things just for fun serves no purpose. There must be more to it. You wouldn't spend your valuable time doing something useless, would you? He can insist all he wants, but in the end... But maybe there is a good reason, like getting into something and talking to people about it. So maybe... Relating to your friends. You know how it's useful. It helps you give something to talk about with other people. Something to talk about? Like when you see something awesome on TV or some awesome game and you want to share it with someone. You find other people who feel the same way and that's how you make friends, see? Uh, what? What, 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 what? I was once blind, but now <laughs> I see. What the heck? That kind of thing has plagued me for years. Suck back up the waterworks. I've tried making friends, but whenever I would make a conversation, it would die after a few minutes. Aw, poor baby. And now I've finally found the answer. I need to study more games, more TV shows. No, no, no. You don't need to study them. Uh, but I'm so ashamed of myself. If there was a hole somewhere around here, I'd totally go hide in it. I let it get to me. I wasted all that time. I never saw the blind spot in my studies. I'm a complete embarrassment. I'm not qualified to even be on the morals committee, let alone lead it. Uh, I don't think it's really that big of a deal. <laughs> Thank you, Professor Makoto. P professor You've taught me the most valuable lesson. You've earned my respect and the title of professor. That's going to make things super awkward. <laughs> There's no need to be modest, professor. I can't wait for your next lesson, and until then, I will strive to learn as much as I can on my own. Hmm. Well then, Professor, by your leave. Without waiting for a reply, Taka ran off. Professor. <laughs> Although, thinking about it, I didn't totally hate it. <laughs> I'm into it. <laughs> Professor Makoto. Okay, update report card. Man, who shares what they see on TV and plays video games and tells people what they do on video games? I know, it's almost like somebody in here has a podcast about things that's linked in the description below. Where? <laughs> Ooh. Down there? I've been wanting to tell you something for a while now, Makoto. And now that it's just the two of us, this is the perfect time to confess. Uh, Taha, you'll be in that back room sometime later. Uh, don't tell him that. <laughs> Listen, Makoto, your hoodie is awesome. Thanks. You have a really amazing fashion sense. Now, wearing a hoodie under your school uniform... No! Your public morals are ruined. Just absolutely ruined. Sorry, did I do something wrong? The dress code was pretty flexible at my old school. You understand? Well, that's not the case here at Hope's Peak Academy. As long as I live, I will protect our morals. Take off that <laughs> incredibly stylish hoodie this instant. Uh, right now? Of course. Crap, Taka seems to be taking this really seriously. Well, I better come up with a good excuse or I might actually have to give him my hoodie. Put up the flashlight! <laughs> the makeshift hard hat? It, but it's a makeshift hard hat. <laughs> what? But this is the next best thing to a hard hat. A uh, hard hat? Yeah, I mean, this school's really dangerous, you know? There's no telling what might happen. 
So, like, just in case, you know? Hmm. You may have a point there. I do, I totally do. <laughs> well, if it's for your own safety, I suppose I can give you special permission. Just this once. You hear me? But the instant this school goes back to normal, you will hand over that amazingly cool hoodie. <laughs> he just wants his hoodie. Yeah, you got it. Students these days are utterly ignorant to proper dress code. It's quite a pain. Why are you crying about this? <laughs> and frankly, I don't understand youth fashion these days anyways. We're the same age. So this is a perfect opportunity for me to teach you all about how you should be dressing. Huh? Getting fashion advice from Taka is, well, let's just say unexpected. You understand? I wear this uniform 365 days a year. Rain or shine, flood or drought, wind and hail and hurricane. Even on days off? Even on holidays? School itself may observe holidays, but there's no such thing as vacation for a student. As long as I live the life of a student, I will always wear my uniform. I see. Also, I have ten sets of my uniform, so I always have a clean one. There's nothing strange about that. Um, no, I'd say wearing your uniform when you're not at school is totally strange. <laughs> I better keep that to myself, though. <laughs> Trust me, wearing a uniform every day helps keep you motivated. You should give it a shot. Taka is exactly the kind of guy I thought he was. Taka's report card has been updated. Ooh, we got more skill points. Yeah, don't tell him that he's going to die back there. That's rude. Well, I mean, he's not going to die back there. His body's going to get moved back there. <laughs> Taka, you didn't live long enough to see this, did you? I'm weak, Makoto. So oh, weak. Did. What happened? Haven't you realized? This school is missing something of utmost importance. Textbooks, classes. <laughs> oh, um, I can't say I really miss that stuff. I'm just going to come right out and say it. I'm freaking out. <laughs> As we speak, we're being left in the dust by other students our age. I'm totally freaking out. Makoto, what should I do? If I keep involuntarily skipping classes like this, I'm gonna reach dunce status in no time! Is it really that big of a deal? Just calm down. You were always at the top of your class at the private school you used to go to, right? I mean, you're basically genius level. So even if you miss a few classes, it's not the same as just some ordinary kid ditching. Oh. Genius. Don't say that. Huh? Hmm. I'm no genius. I'm a normal person, just like everyone else. From a middle school from a <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. from a middle class family, you know. Actually, they're not even middle class. That's why I have to push myself so hard. I have to knock down that wall. It's not geniuses that change the world, it's ordinary people who make every effort they can. And to prove that, I have to keep on making an effort, dit after effort after effort. So don't call me a genius. Don't lump me in with those lazy clods who don't put any <laughs> in any effort. Sorry, that's not what I was trying to do. No, I'm sorry. I, uh, I got a little carried away. A little heated there. <laughs> but I only said that because you and me are the same. You and me, we're just normal people. We know what it means to have to make an effort. That's why I want you to know exactly how I feel. I understand. In other words... And that's why I'm so passionate about my work on the Morals Committee. I want to create an environment where everyone has the opportunity to give it everything they've got. You hear me? That's why I put all my blood, sweat, and tears into creating that kind of environment. I want everyone else to understand that, too. In the end, you can't succeed if you don't try. 
Anyone who says differently is selling something. Probably drugs. <laughs> Effort is everything. And that's the only way to fix anything in this world. And I have to prove that to all ordinary people out there so they'll keep on trying. I have to become the ordinary man who can surpass any genius. I don't know why ordinary looks so weird for a second. Yeah, I know, right? Those are the feelings I carried with me when I entered Hope's Peak Academy. But now that I'm trapped in here, I've been robbed of the opportunity to make that effort. So now what am I supposed to do? Haka. Sorry, Makoto. I did not mean to make you listen to my pathetic complaining. No, it's not pathetic at all. I can totally understand why you'd be upset. You obviously feel really strong about this. I really hope you don't give up hope and start to lose track of what you want to do. If you really can't believe that effort is what matters, then you can't give up, right? Because you can't... It because if you can't make that effort, then what do you have left? Oh, I, I think until you said that just now, I'd totally forgotten what I was here for. The foundation of effort is the will to never give up. You're right. I had to try, no matter the situation, even without glasses, without assignments. I could just look at look back at what I've learned already and reinforce those basic principles. <laughs> yeah, good idea. I'm glad we had this talk, Makoto. Wow, I feel so much better after getting all that off my chest. As my way to say thanks, next time I buckle down for a study session, I'll make sure to invite you. You understand? Let's work together as fellow ordinary people. Show those geniuses who's boss. <laughs> His face filled with unwavering confidence I was used to seeing from him. I feel like maybe I'm starting to understand him a little better. But I still think he might be a genius. <laughs> Specifically, he's a genius when it comes to effort. Still, I did notice one thing. He seems to have a lot of hostility towards the idea of someone being a genius. Is there some reason he feels that way? Taka's report card has been updated. Why'd they give me his report card? <laughs> yeah. We just unlock the skill steal patience. <laughs> See, that makes sense for Taka, though, because I could see him just handing out report cards to people. Honestly, yeah. yeah. Are you free time event four? Listen to me! Would you like to study with me, Makoto? Just the two of us. Wow, chicka, wow, wow. Come to my room. If there's anything you don't understand, I'm a very attentive teacher. Oh, God. Um, I don't think I need you to be all that attentive. <laughs> but sure, you don't mind if I stop by. <laughs> Of course not. All right, let's do it. Shove his butt ass naked. <laughs> but Taka leading the way, we head into his room. Hey. I like Welcome. how he has an iron. <laughs> Welcome, Makoto. You're the first guest I've invited to my room. Now that we're here, let me pose to you a question. A question? <laughs> Don't worry. No study required. This is the most basic of basic questions. Very straightforward. <laughs> this should be no challenge for you. Very easy, I assure you. Stop saying how easy it's going to be. That just puts me even more pressure on me. Okay, here we go. What country first established zero as a numerical concept? Uh, zero is a number, right? I'm pretty sure that came from an Asian country. Is it Japan? That's wrong. Wrong! Sorry! <laughs> no, you don't have to apologize. The way he reacted, I couldn't really help myself. But anyway, you're on the right track. It was an Asian nation, I can tell you that much. Ah, uh, zero's a number. I'm pretty sure that came from an Asian country. Was it- it was India, wasn't it? <laughs> Correct! Good job, Makoto. I had faith in you, and you came through for me. <laughs> Seeing you get excited is getting me excited. Uh, oh, please oh keep your pants on. 
Let's stack our effort on top of the other and show those self-centered geniuses jerks what for. Mm. Um, Taga. What are you talking about? Yeah. Well, I just noticed you seem to really hate the idea of geniuses. Uh, I guess I feel like they're just my sworn enemy, you know? Rival. Huh? <laughs> but you hit the nail on the head. You're pretty sharp. But why? There's someone. Someone I respect. Someone I hate. Someone I have to surprise. Because he was a genius. What? In other words. Uh, t- Tono, Tonosuke Ishimaru. Do you recognize that name? He was my grandfather. He was once Prime Minister of Japan. He was your grandpa? Hmm. He went from Minister of Foreign Affairs to Chief Cabinet Secretary and finally Prime Minister. <laughs> and all without any support network and only a high school degree. A high school degree. Yeah, a high, high school degree. <laughs> he was simply a genius. Everything he did, everything without effort. He sounds like an amazing person, and he was your grandfather? Count on it! He was a genius. He'd never known failure. His success was unimaginable to a normal person. But because of that, he allowed himself to be controlled by naive emotions and got roped into a corruption scandal. He had no idea the world of geniuses was really like. At least, that's how I see it. At that point, he just, he fell just as fast as he had risen. And it wasn't just into politics. The business world had no use for him anymore, and he plummeted. The debt he left behind torments my family to this day. He died a few years ago. By the end, he wasn't speaking to anyone. Despite his fame, his legacy, the only people who came to his funeral were his family members. That's hard to imagine. You hear me? Some consider genius's fate's blessing, but I see it as a tragedy more than anything. The tragedy of finding success without understanding the importance of effort. There's nothing worse than a genius who trips and falls. Just like my grandfather. And that's why you hate the word genius. Count on it! My grandfather serves as an important lesson why you must never be deceived by words like genius. Relying on my own effort, I will reach greater accomplishments than anything my grandfather ever did. You hear me? So we have to work to build a society where those who put the most effort are properly rewarded. I see. I can agree with him, but Talk and I aren't the same. I can't reach for those kinds of big dreams. <laughs> but, you know, Makoto, I'm really happy. I figured this school would be full of geniuses. I mean, I thought everyone would be my enemy. I never imagined I'd meet someone here who I could share my story with. <laughs> because you're dumb. <laughs> I'm so lucky to have met you here. This kind of thing only happens once in a lifetime. I hope we can stay close and combine our efforts to shape things the way we want. Like my penis. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay, we have to keep on studying. I feel like I've come to understand Taka a lot better. I think we finally become friends in the truest sense of the word. Updated report card. E, he gave us more skill points. Oh. Oh no. No. No! As far as I can tell, there's nobody here. But still, I feel some kind of presence. Yeah, I'm sure I feel someone's presence. This presence. Is it coming from over there in the back? No. Not at all. There's nobody back there. I leapt through the doorway. I leapt through it. And when I did, I found another nightmare. The second nightmare of the day was waiting there to greet me. Oh, sorry, Russell. 
It's all right. It's just like throwing salt in old wounds. <laughs> there in a pool of his own blood was Taka dead. Actually, it was me. Yeah. So I opened the door and when I entered, I saw. <laughs> Why would this see both? <laughs> I don't know, because I showed them both. <laughs> School mode. Time for him to be alive and happy. <laughs> then Bianca's just there like, hey. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> you gotta affirm or deny his emotions. Because Nagito really has ESP. <laughs> yeah. Even when you come and... that ah, fuck. I fucked up. I fucked up. It's my first day on the job, and I fucked it up. <laughs> You're doing so good up till then. Honestly, know, he was, right? yeah. I wasn't even fucking thinking about it when it came to that. No, I get you. That one kind of does catch up uh, hard. They usually voice it. <laughs> yeah. Even when you can find it, people, it doesn't solve anything. But still, I'd just like someone to listen. But whenever I do start talking, I just end up forcing my own beliefs. My words! <laughs> Is it fair of me to do something like that? But Makoto likes me, right? He has the ult an ultimate talent. So maybe because of it's him. Am I allowed to impose? Am I allowed to impose? Or am I just being unforgivably selfish? You are! I'm just affirming that. I bet that you would have a bad time. You do get different reactions out of him for affirming or denying any of the statements. That might be a fun thing to play around with in the future. I debated doing all of them, but I was like, that's so much work. What's wrong with that? What are you talking about? I can hear your thoughts. You don't have to think like that. You're forcing any that you're forcing anything on anyone. Or I think of it like you're telling me about yourself. That's all I want. Makoto. I I can't tell you how much that means to me. Honestly, I really appreciate it. But but still. Taka. What I'm haunted by. It's not the kind of thing where I tell you a story about myself and it has an ending and that's it. The things I want to say, it's just to me pointlessly droning on about how I think and feel. I'm just going on and on about my values and morals without any real point to it. And if you're the person listening, isn't that just one giant nuisance? If they're your friend, it's not a nuisance at all. To me, a friend is someone who can escape that kind of thing, don't you think so? What is this? Uh, for everything I've learned up till now, what have I been missing out on? Listen, Makoto, if it's okay, would you mind being that kind of person? Someone I can talk to once in a while? Of course, it would be my pleasure. Like, I work at Chick-fil-A. It looks to me like he had a really good time. We spent some time and very meaningful time together. Every day should be more like this. Day like today will never come around again. But then again, no, no two days are really ever the same. Well, I'll never regret the time I spent with you. We have to live each day to its fullest. You hear me? Okay, I better get back to my room. Come on, Makoto. It's like he drags me with him. <laughs> <laughs> we're bunk buddies now. <laughs> we're bunk buddies. Taco, we're about to get out of here, but you don't look too happy about it. Makoto, don't laugh, okay? Eh? I'm scared. <laughs> Here, we have structure, order, discipline. What's waiting for us out there? I don't see it as just escaping, you know? Couldn't you say that as students, we're protected by the school? That's what I started thinking about while we were sealed up in here. 
I see. Graduate from high school and going out in the world definitely takes courage. You hear me? But still, I know we can't just stand here. I, I think I've learned that here too. Taka. I still hate geniuses. That definitely hasn't changed. But other parts of me have changed. And all that matters is that I keep pushing forward. I had it all wrong, you know. I always thought that showing emotion, showing concern or pain was a sign of weakness. But that's not true at all. And you taught me that. Thank you, Makoto. You don't know how grateful I am. This place is strange, definitely, but I also learned a lot while I was here. I'm very happy right so I'm glad I got to spend my time here. I feel the same way. Our time here was bizarre, that's for sure, but we built some good memories, too. Which is why I have to believe that isn't the last time we'll see each other. Makoto. Eh. You hear me? I need you to promise me something. You do? Listen to me. Remember what I told you before about taking aim and doing our best together? Oh, um... Keep trying our best and the world will reward you. Listen to me. That's right, and I want you to help me achieve that. Wait, what? But that's like a figure of speech, right? No, it's more than that. This, this world... world Sorry. But this world doesn't belong to the geniuses. Try hard enough, and your efforts will pay off. I'll see to that myself. And to do that, I've decided to become a politician. Oh, wow. His grandpa was a politician, so I'm sure he has what it takes to become one, too. You understand? Why are you standing there like this doesn't concern you? You have to become a politician, too. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Together, we can advocate for my ideas and change this country. What? No way. There's no way I can become a politician. Totally impossible. <laughs> In the face of effort, nothing is impossible. <laughs> Taka's face was shining with an inner glow. Glow. I saw that no matter what darkness might stand before him, he would shine through it. He's our glow, brother. He stood there, smiling, talking about the future he was going to create. And I realized that it was one of my many shapes that could hope to, that hope could take. Tiny whiteies! He threw his undergarments at me. Just wears tiny whiteies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Boy Taka's favorite briefs. They were also preferred briefs of his grandfather, the former prime minister and the official ultimate manager at the manufacturer military world claims that they support all ideal Japanese men from down below. <laughs> <laughs> this is a report card for Koyataki Shimaru. He's five foot nine inches, 146 pounds. But his chest is 31 <laughs> inches. A student must be a studying professional. That's my motto. Studying is necessary even to have everyday conversations with other students. You should have had Russell Wilson. Some may observe holidays, but they're <laughs> yeah. I just went through it. That's my motto. I wear my uniform every single day. Every single day. Any problem you encounter in life can be overcome with extra effort. That's my motto. And to prove it, you're going to use my extra effort to prove that the average man is greater than any genius. I've resolved to learn the lesson of my genius grandfather and rely on my own efforts to surpass anything he ever did. Okay. My boy. Your boy. How do you feel about your boy? I, I've never stopped loving my boy. I love that guy. He's <laughs> the ultimate good boy. Taka is ultimate good boy. It does yeah. suck that he died, though. And He was... Probably my favorite character out of the first bunch. <laughs> I did like Taka. Yeah. It wasn't my favorite, but he was a good one. I was upset got, when he died. It got kind of weird when he turned into me. 
Oh, I, I liked him better when he turned it. Like, that was funny. Mm-hmm. He, wouldn't, he wouldn't swear. So he just kept calling people a butt. <laughs> it didn't feel like Taka anymore. Well, it wasn't. It was Taka and... Uh... Yeah, I know. It was me. <laughs> it was yeah. Taka and Iwata, wasn't it? Those two yeah. together. And then they <laughs> murdered him off, like, freaking a couple scenes later. So. Yeah, I, I really want him to be in court, because I want to see how he was going to be in the trial. I know. I, you said that. I was like, oh, Mikey. <laughs> yeah, I really want to see how he's going to be in trial. I was, he made his character so funny. <laughs> yeah, freaking Celestia had to go and kill, like, two good boys. Yeah. Yeah, fuck her. Yeah. <laughs> Mikey's little flaps. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if nobody else has anything to say about Taka or Justice for my good boy. Just for your good boy. Yeah, that uh the Barrett that we experienced in the actual Let's Play, like where he was like, Oh, let's bear to each other. I guess we just happened to talk to Taka at the exact perfect moment where he'd have that cutscene. Because it wasn't really like a cutscene, it was like a transition when you talk to him to going into a free time event with him. It was just like, Uh they sprinkle special ones here and there, and I guess we just happened to hit that one for him on that particular time. And I'm like, that is funny that we just happened to run across that one where he's just like, I want to bear myself to you, and you're like, whoa! (laughs) (laughs) So, yeah! I love Taka. I think we all love Taka. We're, we'll look forward to more of him in S and see who he interacts with in there. But, uh, yeah. That's, uh, Koyataki Ishimaru's, uh, retrospective episode. And thank y'all for watching. Watch the other characters. We'll see y'all later. Like, comment, subscribe, do all the things, and see y'all later. Bye! Bye!